What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversitz from Pixel Feet here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the newest Facebook feature that's been a secret up until now. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So Facebook over the weekend has released a new feature that all of us media buyers have been asking for for a long, long time. And that feature is, drum roll, custom metrics. That's right, custom metrics. So now you can add your own custom metrics to your ads manager, to your dashboard, so you can keep track of whatever you want. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your custom metrics and I'm going to show you the ones that I have been using to give you some ideas what you can keep track of and to make your ads even better. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go right here under columns. You're going to click on that. You're going to go to customize columns and it's going to bring your menu right here where you set up your, uh, your, your, your metrics and overall. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to see this right here, create custom metrics. So we're going to click on that and it's going to bring up this menu. Okay. And under this menu, you're going to see that you can see all your metrics, everything that's available, performance, for example, reach, frequency, impressions, clicks, CTR, uh, CPC, all of it, right? Uh, you have your engagement, like page engagement, page likes, comments, uh, cost per engagement, and the list goes on and on. Video plays, very important. And the list goes on and on and on. Oops, I just closed that by accident. And then you got conversions, which is the most important, if you ask me, where you can keep track of all your conversions, all those uh, events right there. And if you had custom conversions, they're gonna show up right here. So let me show you how to create those custom uh, metrics. And I'm gonna show you the ones that I've been using um, so to give you an idea of what to use. So the first one we're gonna do, it's gonna be called AOV. And you guys should know what this stands for, average order value. Come on guys, you should know this. So we're gonna description, average order value. Okay, so how do we create this? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search for your metrics. So how do we figure out what an average order value is? Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change the format. This is not numbers, this is a currency we got to figure out numbers all right we got to figure out hard earn earn dollars so i'm gonna do uh purchase conversion value you guys should know your formulas when it comes to this stuff divided by the number of purchases so you use type in purchases and i'm gonna click on that and then here, this is very important. So if you have a team, you want to make sure everyone in the business can see it. You click this right here. If it's only you, then you just leave it right there. Okay. So you select your, uh, your values right here for your form formula, and then you're going to hit create metric. And that's going to go ahead and create our metrics. So you're going to see it right here, average order value. So we're going to select it and it's going to be added to your menu right here. For now, I'm just gonna leave them at the end right here, but what you want to do when you're playing with stuff, you wanna place these custom conversions where they make sense. So average order value, if I wanted to see my average order value, I'm probably gonna put it, you know, uh, probably before or right after website, website purchases, but you know, for this video, I'm gonna keep all of them right here at the end so we don't get confused when I show you how to, how to, how, what they look like when you're done, okay? So let's create our next one. Our next one is gonna be one that's called scroll stop. And this was uh, my friend Gil David told me about this one actually. Uh, percentage, all right. And what this one does, uh, we're gonna use this one. Uh, I'm just gonna call it scroll stop here because I'm, I know what it is top of my head. But if you need a reminder of what it is, you can always type out the description. Uh, this is the one that we use uh, to see if our creative is working, if, I, if our pattern interrupt is working. So if you're using video ads and somebody's scrolling through the feed, you want to measure the number of people that are actually stopping on their tracks to watch the first three seconds of your video, because if they're doing that, that means your ad works. If they're not doing that, then you need to work on your video creative to make it better so you interrupt the scrolling and get their attention to get more conversions on your ad, right? So that formula is gonna be three second video plays, right? And we're going to divide that by impressions. Oh, uh, yeah, by impressions. 
So we're going to do impressions. Okay. All right. And that's going to be a percentage. I want to see a percentage of who's doing this. Okay. And I'm going to create my metric. So that's going to add it right here. We're going to add it. And for now, I'm just going to leave it here at the end with my AOV. I don't know why I took my AOV off, but it's right there. You can see both right here. And let's do the next one. The next one is going to be CBR, which is my conversion rate. Okay, this is my conversion rate. Pretty self-explanatory. I want to see what the conversion rate on that ad set is, right? So that's going to be uh, how many people are converting from that ad set, right? So it's going to be unique purchase. All right, so unique purchases. And we're going to divide by unique because you got to remember, unique means that they actually click on the call to action to leave, uh, you know, to, you know, they came from that ad set and, and they're clicking out to make that purchase, to make that action. So we want to make sure it's that they're not clicking, you know, it's a million things before they, they go to it. Like when you see like uh, link clicks, that means that they clicked on the ad or they clicked on the video or they clicked all over the place, anywhere on the ad itself. So make sure you keep that unique uh, link clicks, right? So unique link clicks and um, CBR conversion rate. So I want a percentage on that as well. So I'm going to make that a percentage. Uh, create metric. That's going to add it on our menu here. And it's gonna, I'm just gonna add all four when I'm done, CBR. So the next one, we're gonna hit create custom metric once again. And the ne next one is called RPC. And what that stands for is revenue. How do you spell revenue? I just forgot, oh my God. Revenue, I can't believe I just forgot how to spell it. Revenue per uh, click, all right? And this is gonna be currency. I wanna know how much hard earned money. All right, so the formula for this one is gonna be purchase conversion value, and it's gonna be divided by unique, oops, unique outbound clicks. All right, I'm gonna create my metric by clicking on here. It's gonna add it on there. And then what you do is, like I did previously, you select them right here. And as you can see, it's add them, it adds them at the end right here, or you can move them around to put them where it makes sense. For this example of this video, I'm just going to do it at the at level so you guys see what it looks like. Okay, so let me pull it up on this account. All right, so... Boop, 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 boop. Ta -da! And then you see them right here and see how helpful this is guys look at this this is telling me that this particular ad is working really well really well this particular creative but raw is 15 average order value is 329 um cbr it's uh you know my conversion rate it's 11 percent, which is pretty high revenue per click is 36 dollars. look at that revenue per click on the next one right here 78 dollars. right how cool is that and if you keep scrolling down, it gives you a better picture. It gives you a better idea of how your account is doing, right? Like if you know what you're doing with your ads, what you should be doing, you should be keep, keeping track of, it, of the small metrics, not only your ROAS, okay? This is what makes the difference between a very optimized account and a not optimized account. Like on my accounts, I'm always looking at my unique cost per ad to card and my unique cost per initiate checkout. Because once you know those numbers and you launch an ad or a campaign, and you look at your performance in the first day, you can see how that ad is going to do. It, I mean, I've, I've done this for so many years that if I'm trying new creatives and if my unique cost per checkout, it's not where, I, where, it's usually, where it should be in the average for that account, I, get, I let it get to like what my average order value is, right? Because you're gonna have my average order value is 295. So if I see that that campaign or that ad set has spent $295 and there's no conversions, I'm killing it, right? But that's only if my unique add to cart metric is close to where, where that, what the average on the account is. If it's not, I kill it way before that. So the more metrics that you keep track of, like your conversion rates and your revenue per click and all that stuff, it's gonna give you an, a better overall picture of your whole account. 
And this is what makes the difference between good media buyers and bad media buyers. Mad media, media buyers, they just look at the ROAS at the end of the day. Half of them don't even know what their cost per acquisition is or the cost per purchase is, which is, it drives me insane. Like I audit accounts all the time and I'm like, what's your CPA? And they have no idea. These are the type of metrics that you got to know. So this tool is very, very powerful. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning, keep taking your marketing game to the next level, make sure to click one of the boxes right above me. Keep moving on. Watch the next video and I'll see you in the next video.